morning guys welcome back to the vlog it is tuesday october 24th today is actually technically my day off from work i do have a, sh a, a few minor things i'm doing so i wanted to to film a day in the life that is what we're doing we're gonna do a day in the life i'm gonna take it old school i want to show you guys all the meals that i eat today and a full workout and then whatever happens kind of in between since it's a day a day off ish from work <laughs> okay so if you guys didn't know grounds my women's fitness app women's only safe space for women boys keep out no boys allowed has officially launched i am putting my whole heart soul blood sweat tears into this app because i remember what it feels like to be that girl that's lost in the gym and you guys can actually purchase it on the app store it is called grounds a fitness app for women and this is like a quick little overview of what my metrics look like i'm not going to go through the entire app and show you guys, but throughout the day, I'll show you how to like utilize the app. These, this is my health overview. I'm currently 110 pounds. The water calculator told me that roughly 60 ounces of water per day for me. And I'm at 13% goal because it's the morning. Because it integrates with your Apple Watch. My heart rate is currently 72 beats per minute. My steps are currently at 259. I haven't, I haven't moved a lot today. Again, it's my day off. I've been lazy. And cycle tracking. So we have period tracking right now. And it's going to tell you what phase you're in at all times. So instead of just ovulation and menstrual, I am in my luteal phase. If you don't know what your luteal phase is, you can read down here a quick little description of it. And see. So basically, I'm gonna be moody AF today. I kind of feel it too. I'm like a few days from getting my period. I feel it like brewing, you know? The attitude is brewing. Let's go make breakfast. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some scrambled eggs. I'll make some oatmeal, cut some banana to put in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, if you're prepping for a show, you'll probably perfectly, perfectly measure all your food. However, I'm not prepping for a show, neither is Christian. So I like to eyeball it. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm really good at measuring and being very intuitive on how many calories are in this, how many, how much fat, how much protein, things like that. If you are a beginner, sometimes it is helpful to track just to make sure that your eyeball is actually correct. <laughs> because even Christians sometimes will eyeball it and I'm like, that is not the right number. I don't know about y'all, but in the beginning, when I was trying to get my diet on track way back in the day, I didn't realize how many calories were in things like ranch, thousand island dressing, pasta, all the things. It took me kind of measuring things out properly to realize like, ah, that's a serving amount. I don't really do that as much anymore. breakfast here we got oatmeal we got banana we got egg 678 calories 26 fat 79 carb 36 protein wow it's ah, good right well you never track it to the team no i know I don't, good. I don't track it like that but detail. you just did that's good well i i didn't i didn't i kind of eyeballed the eggs and some of the other things i don't need to, i'm not prepping i don't need to obsessively do the number sure. no i literally I just the most experienced like what do they call it intuitive eater mm -hmm. ever met in my life she's just like stayed this Roughly the same weight, steadily increased weight for like seven years. Like, so she's never like- Gain a little bit of weight, lose a little bit of weight. I'm really good at being able to balance. We're opposites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christian's like extreme cut or extreme bulk. Miss treats. You miss the treats. You miss some girl. Ooh. He was gonna give you some too. This is one guy that gives all the treats every day outside. <laughs> she, what you wanna say the word? Is it treat? Oh, yeah. So what'd you say your macros were? Okay, so my macros are currently 19.99, 2,000 calories, 100 grams of protein, 215 carb, 82 fat. 82 fat? I made these mine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. What? You think that's low? No, it's high for the. Cars. I love that. Wait, that's good. It's fine. You do. It, it told me 60, and I was like, no. Nah. I would have done 60. <laughs> I would have put you at 60. No, well, I'm already at. I'm already at 
26. Oh, I'd be gone. Yeah, but I, 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 I don't even have my avocado if, yet. If I, if I were you, I'd probably go like 110 protein, like 290 carb, and like 60 fat. But clearly, what I do is not working. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You do your summer spreads all the time? Killing it? What do you need to do today? I just need to go to Alpha one time. And I just want to go in time to film the trial. Yeah. I don't want to go for like twice. So me and Harmon can go to Alpland. We'll do the ground work that, and then we'll come back. Then we can go do the try on tomorrow. Like, what, around like four. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that's like a real talk. How do you wake up? She doesn't want to get off the fucking couch <laughs> until I get her coffee, and I get her coffee. Then she like pushes the time limit real late to get ready to wherever she's going. And she's always late. <laughs> And then she goes to the office, I don't hear from her for like, you know, five to eight hours. Mm -hmm. And then I hear the door slam and I hear Heidi coming up, usually on the phone with somebody on FaceTime. Like, hey babe! And then, but she's multitasking and then I kind of wait until she's done and then we eat dinner. <laughs> and then we go work out. Maybe. Usually I've already worked out. Well, and you said I'll you had nothing out. to do today, zero to do today. So today was our day off. I mean, I would. It is. It's not. <laughs> no, I said I'm filming. It's not. I said I have no meetings today, but I'm filming. <laughs> You're the one that asked work. We're doing a trial haul. All right, guys. So, breakfast is done. I am going to get ready for the gym, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you guys what I got at the drugstore for my face. I went to go see a dermatologist yesterday, and I was like, girl, I have been breaking out into what they think is eczema and having skin allergies and like all these things. I basically have super sensitive skin and I react very easily to things. I also have dry skin. I also have sensitive dry skin that is easily triggered like me. So I had her recommend a few different things. I assumed using body oil was the best thing for me and she said absolutely not. Using lotion with ceramides in them. So she highly, 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 highly recommended this the ceramides actually help your body absorb the moisture versus just sitting on the top of your skin so i'm gonna be trying this uh, this is not sponsored hopefully it works so i got a few of them so then i asked her about skincare i've used a variety of things and i feel like my skin gets these like little red dots all over it so she was like that is actually like a baby reaction like a semi-allergic reaction not super dangerous by any means but flaring up on the skin. So she said, throw out all the expensive stuff that I was using and recommended actually trying out the CeraVe, which again, you get this at the drugstore. I was like, this gonna be good. Hopefully. So we're gonna try that, go from there. So what I got was the hydrating facial cleanser followed by a night cream to use at night. This is a thicker solution. During the day, I'm gonna be using this one. So she said, keep it simple, keep it basic, keep it simple, stupid. So that is what I'm gonna be doing for my skincare routine. I did get a vitamin C serum, which I'll try out. And I wanted to try retinol, even though she told me to keep it simple. I'm gonna like try this for a while and then eventually dabble into a vitamin C and a retinol. I've actually never tried retinol, I don't think. Have y'all? I hear really good things about it. But yeah, so my new, my new skincare routine is CeraVe. What's up guys, <laughs> trying to get my life together. Ah, I think the house is haunted. Watch. Okay, maybe it's not haunted, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna curl in the air, it's not haunted. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and pick an outfit. Let's do it. Wow, what do we wanna wear? A little tip, I think I've showed this in vlogs before, but I hang up, which I feel like is game changing. I hang up all my gym outfits and sets, so it's like ready to go. So you just throw it on, pump cover done, easy. Today. Oh, we should wear grounds colors. We should definitely wear grounds colors. I think this is called the Seductress Bra by Buff Bunny Collection. I love it. Should you wear this one? I didn't hang it up in a set. I feel like I'm shopping in my own closet. Um, okay, I'm gonna wear this top because grounds. Okay, so wearing a little grounds outfit. Outfit of the day is gonna be, it's actually Buff Bunny Collection. These are our contour pocket leggings, boop, and then our reversible bra. So actually on the inside of this is white, so you can want to wear the cocoa color or the white on the inside. Very cute back since we possibly are doing upper body day. We need some scrunch socks. 
also Buff Bunny ones. So I used to get these like cheapy ones. They're not bad, but I was like, mm, the only they were softer, so I made some. So we have Buff Bunny Collection scrunch socks. These might be sold out. I know we were gonna restock them. They could possibly be restocked already, but, ah, oh, they're the perfect scrunch sock. I love it. Okay, and then we're gonna pick a shoe. And, geez, I'm a whore for Buff Bunny Collection. <laughs> This, I believe, is sold out, but it is our mesh zip up. We do need to restock these soon. They're so cute. This is a sick fit. Oh, I feel cool. All right, I gotta get my hair together. Oh, all right. What happened was we bought a rug. Try to put it together. Oh, we have to do this? You want to do it right now? We have 30 minutes. We got 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes before we gotta go. That's one. I gotta be working on it. Okay, but we can do it. You want to do it right now? 10 minutes. We can do it. Babe, I'm gonna put the house together. This is a mess. Look at it. Ready? Let me cardio. Let's see how high we can get our heart rate on the ground down. No, it's not. <laughs> we gotta move. No. Right okay. now? Can we at least like get rid of the rug now? We're just gonna leave it like this? We're gonna fix it. When? Right now? Right now. Here's the straw. This is how we settle everything in our life. I win Who's gonna time. do it? Ready? Not two, out, two out, of out of three. No, it's not two out of three. It's one round. Okay. Ready? Bam, bam, pit. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Buff! Ha! Have fun. Okay, well, we, gotta, we gotta do it quick. What, we? You gotta do it. Yeah, right. I won. That, that was not the All right, bet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't see my game distract me. Right, oh, my God. How do we even like? We had to delay one, two, this is him out, that is you on top. Let me know if you can't do this 10 minutes. Okay, I'm at least moving this out of the way because I can't stand it. Okay, so we're gonna get the house together eventually, later today. But right now, I am heading to the gym. I am taking, I have not had this flavor, the lemon lime from 1UP. I'm usually the watermelon girl, but I'm taking a pre-workout. My pre-workouts last me so long from 1UP because I only take like, a third to half a scoop. I just need a little something, you know what I mean? Just a little something to get me to get me going, and then I'm fine. So, I think there's like, how many servings? <laughs> if you take one scoop, it's 25 servings, but it, it's like 50 to 75 servings for me, because I don't take pre-workout every day. I take it when I need it, and I take a third to half a scoop. Boop. Let's go. Ooh, I wonder how it would taste with Sparkling water. I love sparkling water. I know I can't shake it up or anything. Wow. That's good. Especially with the sparkling lime water. Oh, this is the best pre-work I've ever had. I'm not even just saying that. It actually tastes like an energy drink. Ready, babe? You might get a, holy shit, you had a five timer. It failed. Real... It failed. You no. died. No, I died? <gasps> a roster of the best Pokemon but, to okay. beat you. In a week? Yeah, we'll get seven days, whoever builds the best seven roster. Seven days, or I'll be like a little 90s shit. Kevin, I need you to humble him. He thinks he's so good at Pokemon. Oh, okay, so you need to beat, as well, so you're saying we need to beat the game, beat the Elite Four. Wherever we're at in a week, whoever wins, wins. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Y'all yeah. are nerds. I haven't caught Mewtwo. Exactly, see I would. Humble Kevin. <laughs> Christian's private gym. I'm trying to come in here because I start playing basketball. And then I just don't look out. Don't you dare. So Christian has his private gym. It's beautiful. But he also has the most luxurious porta potty I've ever seen. I'm showing him your bathroom, babe. Yeah, I showed him the women's one at the end. Why is that pretty? Have you been in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, look how nice. Wood floor, panels, a whole vanity section over here. Look at this. <gasps> it's a whole experience. There's running water. All right, I actually need to pee. Bye. One arm. One arm. Do 
I started training Heidi on basketball where like I pass the ball but then I run at her like I'm a no. defender and no. she fucking can't. I can't. Ready? No, no. Set, go. Yes! Go. <laughs> go. <laughs> you come at me like a wrecking ball. Ready? Go. <laughs> My heart rate was at 115. It's pretty good, pretty good. I mean, I've settled now. Anyways, wow, I'm already at 2,000 steps. It's kind of a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Not really. I guess it's noon. Detail. So, all right, guys. So the workout they're gonna be doing is the sculpt challenge. So I did actually this whole program months and months and months ago. Phenomenal shape. I was so proud of the shape I was in. I've been slacking the last few months. I basically got in like amazing shape, and then I just kind of not that I'm bad now. It's just. I was really proud of all the progress I had made. And I've been slacking. So I am completely restarting the program starting now. Week one, right. leg day. Or gym two? Yeah, gym two. What an interruption now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Babe, I was showing them. I so you were gonna be cutting at the time I was coming in, you yeah. know? There's six different programs. One, two, three, four, five, five six. six. I got burn challenge, which is fully at home. Gulp challenge, that's one I'm gonna do. Is it because you're on it? Look, there is six Is that weeks. why you're doing that one? Yeah. No, babe. Mind you, Bailey's. I, Bailey does have a good program. Or Teresa's. I'm doing mine. I'm doing my program. It's yours the best. Babe, I'm pre menstrual right now. Is yours the best one? They are all great, depending on what you're looking for. This has been so busy, we haven't had no sex. <gasps> what do you mean? Last night. <laughs> Literally the worst. So, anyways, the week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six. Week one, you'll see like leg day, upper body, leg day, upper body, lower body tune up. Okay, we're gonna start with the leg day. It shows you how many minutes it is, 45 to 60 minutes. We're gonna burn roughly about 400 calories, six exercises, 19 sets. This is the equipment that you're gonna need. This is all of the exercises. If there's anything that you can't do or you're just uncomfortable doing, all you have to do is swap it out. Oh, right here. Just quit. Get off the app, swipe it up, and stay home and eat your Pringles. Okay, let's. That's what you should do. Okay. Motivational speaking by Christian Guzman. Are you ready? You can say, too difficult and swap it out. I love everything that's in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start it. Is it because you made it? Yeah. Be so annoying. You're <laughs> so <go>. annoying, the <laughs> worst. On me? What, your ring, where the fuck is it? It's getting clean. I'm cleaning it at home. I was like, oh! <gasps> Did I tell you what we're doing here? Yeah, on the cardio? Yeah, and over there, and they're you this. Be glass. It'll be glass sliding doors on the front and on the side, and then we're doing two rows of cardio, so it's gonna be, and, so two rows of cardio, mainly treadmills, but we're also we're also adding some stairmaster. But this, where that like this whole area right here will be opened up on both sides. So when you walk from gym two to gym one, you open the door. Right now it's just the hallway, you can see. But you'll be able to walk in, look to the right, and have all of this cardio. Yeah. Something on your shirt. You know what you do. Okay, <laughs> you know, you know what, did I tell you what I'm doing here. We're taking the, the best She's gonna tell everybody now.
kick him out. It took me 58 minutes. Could have taken me 45, but I was slacking a little bit. 59 minutes, burned 400 calories. There was 19 rounds, six circuits. I'm sharing this on my story. Ah! Okay, all right guys, we done. Babe, I thought you were working out. I did. You done? Yeah. Me too. Back at home, making a little lunch. I have three bowls here. I'm making one for myself, one for Christian, one for Hanmin. And we have about a cup of rice in each bowl. The first thing that I do is put the rice in here, let it cool off since it's hot steamed rice, because my rice cooker. If nobody has one of these, it's the best thing to ever happen to your life. I get it on Amazon. It's called Zhirishi. Zhouju. This one. It's so good. So, well, because it's hot and it's steamy and we're building a bowl that's supposed to be more of like a, like a cold bowl, if you will. I got the rice cooling down. Now I'm gonna add some, do you like cucumber, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna add some cucumber. I mean, they're already kind of chopped up, but I don't know why it's so awkward to eat like a whole like big cucumber and it's like, it's so awkward. Can't really fit much in your mouth beside it, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some onion. Next, I'm gonna add a little bell pepper. I'm sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Shut up, Alexa. Then we add a little bit of cheese. We add some baby tomatoes. Then we add some spinach. Then we add some chicken. I call this like the lazy, lazy bowl, lazy girl bowl. Because your girl barely has time to get her house together, obviously. Do you have some fresh chicken in your fridge? Amazing. Go ahead and cook it, that's the best way to go. I just grabbed a roasted tissue chicken because I don't got time right now. I cooked dinner last night, all right? Give me a brick. The boys are not having avocado on their build a bowl, but I am. How to pick the most perfect avocado. Picking the perfect avocado is like picking the perfect man. Very difficult, but we found one. I think it's good, I don't know. And sometimes you open it and it's just not it. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. All right, guys, got a whole bowl here, a cup of rice, half an avocado, three ounces of chicken, bell pepper, cucumber, spinach, tomatoes, and two things that you can do to add some flavor to this, some juices. I usually go for fat-free Italian dressing or regular Italian dressing, you know, just as long as we're aware of the caloric intake of these. Um, and then there's also liquid aminos. Christian's like half and half. It just kind of depends, so I just put them both on the table. Two tablespoons is only 10 calories, so. All right, let's try this bowl. The only thing that would make this bowl better is if I had canned corn, like canned sweet corn. I have corn I can heat up in the microwave, but it's just, I want cold corn. Mmm, mm-hmm. I'm not a salad girl. Lately, I've been trying to get into some more salads, but this, more like a bowl. 
You know, so good. Mm. Yo. What's up, Jamez? What's up? <laughs> Not much. Question. Y'all have been going wild on the updates and the features on the app. Do you have like a rough idea how many different updates we've done? Since launch? Yeah. Like probably 35, 40 changes, I would say. Wow. 40 different updates, changes, and features. Yeah. No, we're, we're trying to, you know, just make sure that everybody is happy. Oh, no, no. Everyone's so happy. Perfect. Oh, P.S. Can you say hi to the vlog? What's up, vlog? How you doing? <laughs> Tell them to sign up for grounds. Yeah, sign up for grounds. Um, it's a good thing that I'm not on camera. You can just hear me because I can actually kind of act normal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Have a good meeting. Bye. Y'all, right, we launched the grounds app a week ago and the team has done 30 to 40 different changes, updates, maneuvering to make all of our customers happy and they're still going like full speed ahead the whole team it is wild this team is robust we have a section in our community and it's called app suggestions and i remember when designing the app i was like this is really important i want to have this because i want our customers to have a voice our community and be able to extract things that they're wanting and be able to implement it quickly in the app but like i wasn't expecting us to be able to do like 30 to 40 changes within a week already but for the most part it's like i wish that you could do this i wish you could do that and they're literally like done 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 it's so crazy they're doing it so fast and just everyone is so excited and so hyped because we not only had a phenomenal app when we launched but also to be able to for our community to feel heard and listened to and these changes to be implemented so quickly is very cool so I really, 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 really appreciate James, Esteban, Melissa, all the developers, Sebastian, River. I mean, we have such a big team and they're absolutely crushing it. Like, like this was my expectation. Like, I feel like the average expectations here, mine was up here. I was like, I want nothing but the best. And they're just like, look, going to the moon right now. Next part of my day, I'm trying to find some new low calorie coffee options for when I go to Starbucks. I have my go-to if you guys have been following me for since the OG days back when I used to prep for bikini shows. I'm curious what other people's options are. So we have this community space that's built out in the grounds app. And what I love about it is you can, you can solely focus on like workouts, transformation, your outfits, love and relationships. Buff Bunny Collection, Business Talk, Memes, Food Porn, App Suggestions, there's so many different things, and pets. So I just now posted favorite low calorie Starbucks coffee. I listed out my go-to, and some other people have some options. Let's see. Okay, so Teresa says that her go-to is three shots of espresso over ice, and add a ready-to-drink protein shake like Core Power or Pr Premier Protein. That is a great option. That's something that I do in the mornings. Only thing with that is it's not gonna be low calorie. It will be high protein though. But when it comes to a low calorie option, you may not be able to add like a whole core power in there. What I would do is maybe add a fourth of a cup of core power just so that limits the amount of calories. Some Lacey Fit also said grande sweet cream cold brew, sugar-free vanilla, 80 calories also a great option. That's what I really love about the community on here is, you know, you want to you hear about workouts. Like what's everyone training right now? What's everyone doing? Like day one, that's my burn challenge. We got Aubrey here doing the burn challenge. This is my home workout program. We got Taylor here. She's doing the burn program. Yeah, it's just really cool to see everyone in the community here just chatting, sharing their progress, sharing their things. I'm not gonna share too much though on here on the community because at the end of the day, it is a safe space for women. It's where women only can connect, talk, be open. So I don't want to share anything that is private information or that they just want to share with other women. So very, very cool. But I'm excited to see some more coffee options rolling in. So my number one go-to low calorie Starbucks coffee is Ronde Americano, hot or iced, sugar-free vanilla, splash of milk. This is going to equal about 30 calories. 30 to 45 calories, depending on how much milk is put in. If you want to measure it out, go for a fourth cup of milk, a couple pumps of sugar-free vanilla, 45 calories. Hey, yo, it's just 
figure. No. But smells like dollar <laughs> Knock in the lot. From there, we can kind of pick a pick a spot. Whether it's like gym vibes or Lux vibes or HQ vibes. <gasps> oh my goodness! What's up, bro? What's up, Barry? What's up, Barry? Wow, this is coming together, bro. Yeah, it's starting to look like something. Sometimes it feels like nobody's listening. Sharks in the water, but just keep swimming. We're never fitting with the rest. We've all got monsters on the Thank you so much. We call that a lemon cake smile. Oh, there's one left. I'm so selfish, I'm taking it. Here's the thing, we're all about balance here, okay? I feel like I've ate a lot of health today. Had a lot of veggies, had a lot of fruits, had a lot of proteins. So I'm rewarding myself with mama's lemon cake. It's, uh... it's so good. So the way I'm gonna track this, mama does not have a whole, you know, macro breakdown but i went ahead and found a lemon loaf cake lemon loaf cake is a good thick piece of lemon cake this is gonna be more so i'm just like estimating like yeah i'm just gonna put two servings which comes out to 320 calories but if you're in a situation like this i just find the next best thing and make sure that the macros are pretty close if it was just if it was just one slice of the lemon loaf it'd be like what 160 calories that's more than 160 calories so right now i am at these are my macros right now. Whoop whoop. So after this, I still have 30 protein, 30 carb, and 13 fat. Christian's like, you're not gonna be able to have that much fat. I'm like, bruh, I can eat some fat, All right? I love me some fats. Love it. Oh my god! Wow, look how happy that is. Y'all are glowing. No, this is amazing, guys. I'm so happy for y'all. I'm literally in my underwear in your old office right now. I'm just like. <laughs> Wait, how did you do it? What happened? I'm so excited. Holy, wait, let me see that ring. Holy, let me see that ring. Woo! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Damn. Max, you did good. Well, we can't wait to see you guys. We'll, uh, we'll all celebrate soon. Hell yeah. Uh, I love you guys Congrats, so guys. much. Damn. Bye. Bye. I like your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> I told him, I told her, I was like, whenever it happens, you have to FaceTime me. Wow. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, so every time she FaceTimes me, I'm like. It's been a long day. I was like, it's a day off, but we did a lot. We have done a lot. We have actually worked a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up some filet with some real butter. This is, I actually meet my, my fats pretty easily between like avocado, the eggs, the pure Irish butter. I can meet my fats pretty easily. Anyways, we're gonna do some fillets with some butter, some broccoli, some rice, and call it a day. Woo. Let's do it. <laughs> I swear I do. Okay, so whenever I'm making fillets, I make some pretty good fillets, right babe? Yeah. Yep, this is yep. Um, all I do is I add salt. Honestly, it's a lot of salt. I use pink salt, pink salt only. And if you get a good steak, you really only need garlic, salt, and pepper. I really don't like to add anything else. I know there's like all kinds of crazy stuff you can add. I do add quite a bit of garlic though. I love the minced garlic. It's, it just adds so much flavor. And I'll kind of do this and do this. So as you see, I add a good amount, but these are pretty thick pieces. And then I also, I time each side that is cooking just to make sure that I get it perfect. Every time is a gamble though because it kind of depends on how thick the meat is, but that is how OCD I am because you have to take it off at the perfect time. If you take it off like 10 seconds too late, I swear it just overcooks it. It's not good. Ready, I do high heat about four minutes on each side. Let's go. Oh, I also add butter. I add some butter. 
I like a lot of butter. I have my side with the butter. And I have Hamid and Christian's side with the fake butter. You want fake butter, babe? Uh, yeah, fake butter. I also add onion, I forgot. It's more so as a garnish. It does add a little bit of flavor. Hi. All right guys, last meal. Let's see where we're at with the macros. And then I'm gonna get a massage, a very much needed massage. I haven't had one in like a few months. My back is needing it. I would personally rather eat three larger meals, just get it out of the way. But then sometimes I like little macros left over so I can have something like a lemon cake. <laughs> All right, so I'm having half of a packet of rice. I'm lazy, I don't wanna look it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scan it right here, boom. And we have Jasmine, Uncle Ben's Jasmine Rice, 210. Perfect, all right. So, got the rice, filet, and then we got the broccoli. Get about a tablespoon-ish. All right, so, my calories for the day. <laughs> we a little over, but you know what? That's what balance is for. Um, final calories for the day are 2169. We went a little honestly a little bit over each one 111 grams of protein 231 carb 95 fat i ended up with 95 fat for the day babe Pretty good. i'm more of an intuitive eater all right my goal is mainly to hit my protein and then with my carbs and fats i might crave a little bit more carbs some days i crave a little bit more fats i uh, listen to my body but that is going to wrap up the video i'm going to sit down enjoy the meal get a massage that's very much needed and just Relax for the night. You want to say anything to the video before we end it, babe? Say download grounds. Download grounds. <laughs> he says y'all should go probably download the app. Don't forget to like, comment your favorite part of the video, and make sure you're subscribed.